So my research is about um, investigating microbes found in the mouth. I'm particularly interested in bacteria and their role in oral health and in infections. So bacteria can form um, complex communities on and within our body and I'm interested in bacterial populations found in saliva and dental plaque. I use next generation sequencing techniques to investigate bacterial profiles and function. Um, so what, what that means is I, I try to uh, determine what bacteria are present in a particular sample and um, what their metabolic activities are likely to be. So uh, all of this is in, in a bid to better understand bacterial evolution and um, and potential for becoming pathogens. So I work closely with professors Deirdre Devine and Phil Marsh on several projects exploring the biological signatures that um, are specific to, to certain oral sites or microenvironments. So um, we, uh, we, we investigate the mechanism that underlie health and disease and disease such as gum disease for example. So we look at uh, the, uh, how certain populations of bacteria are able to modify our immune response. So um, the uh, infrastructure in Leeds um, also facilitates the uh, multidisciplinary um, collaboration uh, and approach to, uh, to study the, uh, the link between oral health and uh, general health. So, for example, um, a prolonged situation of, of inflamed gum, for example, can lead to, um, uh, could have repercussions on other parts of the body. So, uh, it's, there's an interesting concept, really, uh, that the oral status, that the health status of our mouth might have links with diabetes, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, um, heart disease or lung infections. So uh, I'm interested in, in um, obviously characterizing um, clinical samples, but a lot of my work also involves uh, studying uh, and growing bacteria under uh, physiologically relevant conditions and environment. So for example, for example in studies where we, uh, um, we grow we, we try to uh, determine the profiles of uh, or the shift in the population of bacteria under certain conditions, for example, in uh, uh, using different um, uh, nutrients or, or serum concentrations. Uh, those populations mimic those that are found in, um, in uh, periodontal uh, pockets, and these are the, the gap between the gum and, and the tooth. And these populations require a very specific uh, environment that lack oxygen molecules to grow. That's why we have been using the uh, A45 anaerobic cabinet um, to, uh, to grow these cultures. And uh, it's very important for us to, to obtain uh, results that are consistent and uh, use a, a, an environment that is uh, uh, reliable and consistent. And um, another great um, a feature of, of this uh, anaerobic workstation for me is that it's the space it provides. It allows to carry out several experiments at the same time and some of these experiments can last up to five weeks or, or more at times. So it's really um, important for us to, to obtain uh, uh, results that are reproducible. Um, what I really like about this uh, workstation is the, its modern features. Uh, and I think it's, uh, for example, the, the sleeveless ports, which I think are an improvement to the uh, previous models, it allows a much faster, quicker access to the, the chamber for handling the samples. So I think, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, equipment that, you know, is really essential for our research.